Hello, Gemini, Sun Rising, and Venus, and welcome to your reading. So, Gemini, today we're going to go over your overall energy as well as your person's overall energy. Just keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Also, keep in mind time is fluid. So, this could either currently be happening or may be happening at a later date. How does Gemini currently view this relationship? Oh, very nice. You're like my spirit animal today. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We got the Empress, and then we also have the Hierophant. Okay, so in regards to how you're currently viewing this relationship, by the way, I don't feel like this has anything to do with a relationship with absolutely anyone per se, but yourself, to be completely honest. Right now, I see you very committed and very, very devoted to yourself right now. Um, this is not going to resonate for all of you, but for some of you, you could have recently bought yourself a ring or you might, or you might, um, you might be thinking about buying yourself a ring very soon because I am definitely getting that either some of you already bought yourself a ring or you might be thinking about purchasing a ring for yourself um, very, very soon. But it's like a symbol of your commitment and your devotion um, to yourself um, is, is basically what I'm getting. But yeah, Gemini, right now, I just kind of see you very committed and very devoted to yourself right now. Your finances, your career, your growth, your expansion, your health. Um, you know, things of that nature. Currently at the moment, I don't feel like you're in a relationship with absolutely anyone. I don't. I don't feel like you're in a relationship with absolutely anyone. I do kind of feel like you have a lot of suitors. Like, that's one thing that I will say. You definitely have a lot of suitors. You definitely have a lot of people that are interested um, in you. That's one thing that I will say. But to be honest, I just don't feel like you're giving these people the time and or day. Like I said, right now you're very um, committed and devoted to yourself right now. All right, how does this person currently view this relationship with Gemini? I guess we'll see who shows up here for you. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Ooh, Gemini. Oh, Gemini. The bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Cups to the Five of Wands. Oh, Gemini, wait a minute. We have an Emperor out here. Now... It is a true pair situation here between you and this person. You're showing up as an empress regardless of your gender. They're showing up as an emperor regardless of their gender. Whoever this person is, it's definitely somebody of your caliber. It's somebody who brings just as much to the table as you do. It's somebody that you're going to find you're going to have a lot of things in common with. I like this person. I like this person. But here's the thing, though. Remember when I said, Gemini, that you do have a lot of suitors? You're just not really paying these humans any mind because you're too focused on you and lost in your own world. I do kind of feel like this person has been trying to get your attention for quite some time now. Yeah, I feel like this person in particular has been trying to get your attention for quite some time now. I feel like this person looks at you as somebody who's like currently playing hard to get. I don't feel like you're currently playing hard to get. I just feel like you're so freaking lost in your own world. Um that you just simply don't notice like absolutely anyone is kind of what I'm getting. It's like, look, look, it's like, you know, you have options floating all around you. You're just not paying these options that are floating all around you. Any mind is what it is. Um, but like I said, dude, it, it kind of looks like you have somebody here who's really, really interested in you and they've been trying to get your attention for quite some time now. But again, it's like they're perceiving you as somebody who's playing hard to get. I don't feel like you're playing hard to get though. So I can't really agree with them on that as far as you playing hard to get is concerned. I just kind of feel like you're just so lost in your own world um, that you don't even notice that you clearly have somebody here trying to get your attention. It's like going over your head like a carry-on bag. It's like the best way that I can describe what I'm seeing here, Gemini. But with the world to the um, Six of Pentacles coming out here, you know, this person, they do kind of come off to me. Um... As somebody who's very, very determined, like very, very determined to get to know you, very determined to build a relationship with you, very determined to get your attention. I'm also kind of getting that as well. Okay. All right. Let's, let's keep going, shall we? How does Gemini currently feel? Okay. Hmm. Okay, this to me kind of feels like the epitome of somebody judging like a book by its cover. I'm gonna be honest, Gemini. It's like you're taking one good look at this person and you're automatically thinking to yourself like, yeah, you know, this one over here, they're probably talking to 10 different chicks, 10 different dudes. Um, it's like you're looking at them like, 
like they're like a playboy playgirl like energy is like the best way that I can describe um, what it is that I'm seeing here. And with the death card coming out here at the bottom of the deck, it is in, it is instantly making you lose interest in this person. And it's mainly because you think that they're like this playboy playgirl like energy and that they must be talking to 10 different chicks and 10 different dudes uh, while they're trying to, you know, get with you and build a relationship with you. And it just kind of looks like you're just not interested. You're just not interested um, in being another woman that this person's talking to, another man that this person's talking to. It's like you're choosing to not give this person the time and or day. Okay. Um, well, I uh, wasn't expecting that. Tell me more about the emperor. Okay. We have the five of swords. We have the judgment card. And then we also have the five of pentacles out here. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Let, let, let's talk, you guys. So in regards to this Emperor's energy, in regards to this Emperor's energy, um, I feel like they haven't necessarily had like the best of luck, I would say, when it comes down to you and the relationship that they want to build with you. Again, it's that energy of them basically perceiving you as somebody who's basically playing hard to get. But with the Knight of Pentacles coming out here, that's kind of telling me that despite the fact that this person might perceive you as somebody who's currently playing hard to get, um, that's kind of telling me that they're going to remain consistent and persistent with you um, either which way. But, you know, what's interesting is that this person, like, at times they tend to kind of question themselves as to why you just don't really give them, you know, like the time and or day or even opportunity is kind of what I'm getting. It's like they tend to question that a lot. Like, man, like, why does, like, Gemini, like, avoid me so much? Why doesn't, like, Gemini really, like, give me the time and or day? I just don't understand. You know what I mean? I just don't understand. So they do also view you as somebody who's very, very hard to read. I am definitely getting that. Um, they just don't understand why you won't give them the time and or day. They just don't understand it. They don't, they, they don't understand, you know, why you avoid them. They don't understand why you take forever to text them back. They don't understand, you know, they just don't understand you and why you just won't give them a chance, why you just won't give them an opportunity. And I feel like it is because of what we just kind of discovered right now that, you know, you're under this like impression for whatever reason that this person, you know, is like this playboy player like energy. Um, and, and maybe that's why you haven't really been like giving this person in particular the time and or day is because you're under the impression that they're possibly talking to multiple different women or multiple different men. And you don't want to be like the next woman that they talk to. Or not the next woman. You just don't want to be the other woman. You know what I mean? That they talk to amongst all these other women that they talk to. Or this other man that they talk to amongst all these other men that they talk to. How does this person currently feel? Okay. So we have the Ace of Swords. We have the Queen of Wands. And then we also have the uh, Ten of Swords. Well... I will say this, is this person talking to other men or other women while they're trying to get with you and build a relationship with you? Absolutely. So, you know, spot on, right? When it comes down to that, um, Gemini, they are definitely talking to other men or other women. But see, these other men and or women that they're talking to aren't people that they foresee themselves building or even establishing a life with. You got to understand that with you, um, it's it's very, very different. See, with you, they see the potential. With you, they see somebody they can come to, together with and build towards a life with. Now, with these other people that they're currently talking to it's just not people that they just foresee themselves building and establishing you know a life with you know it's interesting because there is one person in particular in this person's life that really wants to be with them that really really wants to be with them this queen of wands looks at this emperor like oh my god like you're the man that i prayed for you're the woman that i prayed for like you have everything that i could ever want within a man or within a woman the problem is, is that the feeling is not essentially mutual it's not essentially mutual uh this to me 
this to me feels like two people who are clearly not on the same page. We got this Queen of Wands that clearly wants, you know, a serious relationship here with this Emperor, but we got this Emperor not really wanting absolutely anything serious with them. And that's the thing with this emperor is that this emperor comes off to me as somebody who's very blunt and honest. You know, they just kind of tell people um, how it is, right? Regardless of how it's going to make that person basically feel. Um, so this is kind of telling me that this emperor, for the most part, has been very blunt and honest with this queen of wands in regards to like, you know, them communicating to them like, hey, listen, you know, I don't want anything serious. I'm not looking for anything serious. I'm not ready for anything serious. Um there is a huge possibility also, too, that this person could have just kind of flat out told them that they just don't see themselves having a relationship with them. Um, I'm also kind of getting that as well. But right off the bat, these two are just simply not on the same page. This Queen of Wands wants something serious with them, but the Emperor doesn't want anything serious with them. And I feel like they've communicated that to this Queen of Wands, but like on multiple different occasions. Which I feel like these two tend to have like their little fights and arguments with one another quite a bit. Um, and it's it's mainly because this Queen of Wands is constantly pushing, you know, for this Emperor to take them seriously. But the thing is that this Emperor doesn't want anything serious with them. They just don't. There is a huge possibility, though, that this Emperor may not be telling them straight up like, yo, listen, I just really don't see myself being with you 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 know there's a huge possibility that maybe they're not communicating that part to this queen of wands they could very well be communicating to them hey listen like i'm not looking for anything serious i don't want anything serious like this is just where i'm at i just want to focus on me and my money you know what i mean like they could very well be communicating that to this person and by communicating all this to this person they kind of know that it's going to make this queen of wands feel some type of way they kind of know it's going to upset this queen of wands and hurt this queen's queen of wands's feelings because they don't really want anything serious um right now or just with them um but yeah, I just kind of feel like this Queen of Wands is trying their hardest to really change this person's mind. But I just don't feel like it's going to work. You know what I mean? I just don't feel like it's going to work. Okay. Um, what else can you tell me about this Emperor? Yeah, you're showing up as a Nine of Pentacles, my friend. Okay. Um, who they want and what they basically want is basically you. They, they have their eyes dead set on you and what they basically want here with you. See, you possess a lot that they're actually looking for within a person. And like I said, you know, when they look at you, um, they see the potential. When they look at you, you know, they, they are definitely thinking long term. See, but when they look at this Queen of Wands, it's like they're shooting blanks. You know what I mean? They just they just can't quite see themselves slowing down with someone like this. They just can't quite see themselves building or even establishing a life with someone like this. Um, they just can't they just can't all right um so i will say yes you are right as far as like you know them talking to other people while trying to get with you yes you are absolutely hands down right about that uh that, that that's one thing that i will say you are hands down right about that okay um they definitely are but they're not talking to anybody that they plan on running off into the sunset with look at it as Look at it as if they're bored and they don't have absolutely anything else to do. So they're choosing to kind of sit over here and entertain this Queen of Wands in the meantime. You know, look at it in that way. Because that's exactly what I feel like this person is doing. What actions will Gemini take towards this person or moving forward? Ooh. We have the Page of Pentacles. We got the Six of Swords. And then we also have the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, it kind of looks like you're very determined to remain on the path that you're currently on, which is basically focusing on you, your finances, your career, your growth, your expansion, you know, things of that nature. I just don't feel like you're going to turn around and give this one over here the time and or day. Your whole thing is you just don't want to end up with like a playboy playgirl like energy because that's how you're perceiving them at the end of the day. You're perceiving them as like a playboy playgirl like energy. Don't get me wrong. Does this person have certain things that you're looking for within a person? Absolutely. However, what turns you off, I would say about this person is the simple fact that, you know, you feel right that this person more than likely is entertaining multiple people while trying to basically, you know, get with you, which I'm going to have to agree with you on that. You know, I do feel feel like this person for the most part is entertaining other people but it's not with anybody that they plan on running off into the sunset with or anything like that all right what actions will this emperor take towards gemini or moving forward <laughs> Lord. 
We have the Ten of Swords. We have the uh, Four of Cups. And then we also have the um, Two of Cups. You know, this person kind of comes off to me as the type of person that when they have like their... When they, when they have like their eyes dead set on something, they're very determined to get it. They're very determined to make it happen. Um, and then again, it makes sense because this person is showing up as an emperor. When an emperor has their eyes dead set on something, they're very determined um, to accomplish and achieve whatever it is that they have their eyes dead set on or whatever it is that they're, you know, fixated on. Uh, so with that being said, I, I do see this person, unfortunately, running into a lot of obstacles when it comes down to you and creating the relationship that they honestly want with you um but with the four of cups coming out here you know it represents a stubborn energy um it's pretty evident to this person that this entire relationship is not necessarily playing out in the ways that they would want it to play out right between you and them um and i kind of feel like this stubborn energy just won't let them throw their hands up and say screw it you know what gemini just doesn't want me screw it gemini just doesn't want to give me the time or day you know like the stubborn energy just won't let them do it is like the best way that i can describe what it is that i'm seeing here again it's that freaking determination man coming from this person to create and establish the relationship that they want with you it's kind of wild the bottom of the deck we do have the eight of wands and then we also have the four of wands to the ten of wands. oh my god Listen, I've seen people want people in readings before, but this one over here is taking it to like a whole new level is like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. You know, with the eight of wands to the four of wands, this person kind of feels like if they just kind of remain consistent, persistent with you, that eventually you'll cave in and eventually you'll give them, you know, the time and the day, right? Uh, with the ten of wands coming out here, you know, there's an overall energy of them also trying to like prove to you that they're really serious about you, that they really do want to get to know you, that they really do want to build a relationship with you. You know, this person might be under this, this impression also too, that the reason why, you know, you're not really giving into them in the ways that they would prefer for you to give into them could have a lot to do with you having this fear that they're going to hurt you and disappoint you. So this could also kind of, you know, represent you know, the reason why this person is going as far as to like prove themselves to you that they do mean well, that, you know, you really do matter to them. They really do want to get to know you, you know, things of that nature. I see you slowly but surely coming around though. Slowly but surely coming around. Slowly but surely coming around. I do. I do. Um, but see, <laughs> this is the thing, right? This is the thing, right? Is that even though I see you slowly but surely coming around, you are really under this impression, Gemini, that you're just kind of inviting, I would say, like a Playboy Playgirl like energy um, into your life. You feel like you're just inviting um, someone to hurt you, betray you, um, and, and deceive you is basically what I'm getting. It's basically what I'm getting from you. That's what you feel like you're inviting into your life. Is somebody who's just going to entertain people behind your back, flirt with people behind your back, um, and at some point cheat on you um, with someone behind your back? Hmm. I want to see the outcome, though, between you and this person. What's the outcome here between Gemini and this person to the right of me? Okay. We have the Ace of Cups. All right, so the Ace of Cups is attached to the Ten of Cups, which basically speaks of like a loving and healthy relationship between two people. I feel like that's what this person is trying to create with you is a loving and healthy relationship between the two of you. But with the Seven of Wands to the Nine of Wands coming out here, whew. Well, because, because you're looking at them, like they're this playboy, playgirl-like energy, it's going to be very hard, I would say, for you to let this person in. It's going to be very hard for you to lower your guard down here when it comes down to this person. I just feel like it turns you off um, that this person is like that, where they are like very quick to like entertain you and other people on the side, even if it's with people that they don't even foresee themselves having a future with. It just turns you off um, that this person is like that. And, and because this person's like that, where they are very capable, obviously, of talking to you and trying to get to know you, but also kind of talking to other ones, you know, on the side, even if it's with people they don't see themselves having a future with, even if it's with people that they don't have any sort of intentions of running off into the sunset with. 
with, it still turns you off and it makes you think, believe, and feel like you're just dealing with a player. It makes you think, believe, and feel like, man, like if they'll do that to them, they'll turn around and do it to me. You know what I mean? Um, what should Gemini know about this person? Okay, so we have the Six of Cups, we got the Four of Swords, we got the Temperance card, and then we have the Seven of Pentacles, and then we have the Wheel of Fortune. Well, see, that's kind of what I was trying to explain, but see, the thing is, right, Gemini, is that with these other people, right, that they're like chit-chatting with, these aren't people that, like I said, they foresee themselves like having a future with, nor do they want to have absolutely anything uh, with these people as far as like settling down with them is concerned and building towards a life with them is concerned. They just don't foresee themselves having those things with these people. And it's mainly because, and I'm going to be a straight shooter about this, it's mainly because these people really do lack what they're basically looking for within a person. Um, you, on the other hand, you have everything, you know what I mean, that they are looking for within a person. Like, getting with you to them is like hitting the fucking jackpot, you know what I mean? Um, getting with this Queen of Wands to them would represent them freaking settling for less. That's how they look at it. So, with all of that being said, right, um, because you, right, possess everything that this person is looking for within a person and then some because I feel like you've actually exceeded this person's expectations expectations there is no need for them to gravitate towards anyone else outside of this relationship because they already have everything that they want there is no need for this person um to entertain you know anybody else on the side because they already got everything that they want you see what I mean you see what I mean in other words in other words right uh, let me put it to you like this this person would have to basically deal with four different men or four different women just to make one of you basically so all the qualities that you basically possess within yourself um, they clearly, these people clearly lack that. So in order for them to receive the total package, right, they would have to basically get with four different women or four different men just to get someone like you right um and, and with all that being said that's just not something that I, I foresee this person trying to basically do they they much rather deal with the total package aka you aka one person than to find four different women or four different men that basically possess you know what they're looking for within a person you know this one over here might be really good at communicating and this one over here you know might be really attractive and you know this one over here might be you know really really intelligent this one over here might just be really established you know but they don't have everything that they're looking for you know what I mean at the end of the day um you know within just one person they would have to kind of like get involved with different people just to find the total package why do all of that when they could just be with you who possesses everything that they basically want within a person you're intelligent um you're mature you're really good um at communicating you know how you feel and expressing yourself you're established you have a lot going for yourself you're independent i mean you see do you see what i mean right there there would be no rhyme or reason for them to step outside of this relationship between the two of you they already got everything that they want see in order for them to get everything that they want they would have to like you know meet you know a few different women along the way or a few different men along the way just to come into contact with everything that they want and even then they would have to deal with multiple different people in order just to, to just to get that and with you they don't have to do all of that they you are the total package you know what I mean they could just be with one person deal with one person who has everything that they want within a person instead of going down the route of let me just get with four different women because you know this one over here you know she's really good at communicating this one over here she's really attractive and this one over here is really established um and this one over here is really mature you know what I mean like to go through all of that shit, they might as well just get with you, which you are the damn total package, my friend. So you don't have anything to worry about, in other words, is basically what the cards are trying to tell you. You don't have anything to worry about. This is that type of person that when they do meet somebody who possesses everything they're looking for within a person, they tend to make that person their sole focus slash priority. They tend to give that person all of their time, all of their energy, and all of their attention. I'm also kind of getting a clingy energy off of this one over here. Uh, so they might start to become very clingy off of you. Um, they might, you know, go as far as to want to spend, you know, every waking moment moment 
um, with you because I am getting like a clean energy off of them. Some of y'all may like that stuff, some of y'all may not, but I am definitely getting that um, with this person that they can be very like clingy. All right, so that's what I have for you. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.